Breaking news, we got a DKM exclusive, be a real one, hit that big red button, subscribe to the channel, I assure you won't have heard or seen this info anywhere else. So if at any point in the video you hear of something new for the first time, do your boy a solid one and leave a like on the video, but a big baller brand in the building, catch him at the exit cause that's where it seems them boys is headed. They're gonna have to make a documentary about the rise and fall of BBB, here's hoping they can turn it around and make it the rise, fall and return. But with the way things is headed, they're gonna have to pull something mad out the back, cause the brothers don't seem to be on board. This all started with Lamelo. he was the first to take a different path signing that mega 100 melee deal with Puma. It was then thought he might promote and wear BBB on the side, but then he took us all by surprise creating his own designer brand La Francais. And Lonzo recently announced that his latest venture is starting his own brand Apollo Zo, leaving BBB with only one of three brothers, and the one brother on board is the brother who's played as much basketball as me these past two years. And with today's news, it seems as if Leangelo, you know the loyal brother, the one who was said to back BBB through and through, despite saying in the past it's dead and he no longer wants to rock it, appears to be following suit also. It's sad that your bees is going down. It's dead, bro. I don't even want to rock that. I got the exclusive documents, and just because I already made my video, got them views on Lonzo's story a few days ago, doesn't mean I ain't working, doing research, trying to better understand the situation. So here's what I got, detailed filing information, billing, mailing addresses, etc. I'm not gonna bore you too much with the formal stuff, but here we have the Apollo Zo info right here, which was filed September 10th, 2020 which probably confirms for us that this brand was started before Lamello's brand. Anyways, it reveals here on the goods and services that Apollo Zo will be selling face coverings, coats, pants, shirts, shorts, hoodies, jackets, vests, scarves, underwear, pyjamas, dresses and skirts. Which confirms two things, one that this sounds more of a lifestyle brand than let's say sportswear, there's nothing here about sneakers which would allow Zo to sign a sneaker deal elsewhere, but them doing skirts and dresses also means that the brand will try to appeal to women as well by selling ladies a tier. Something the Triple Bs weren't too focused on back when they first launched. Well, I, I think if, in order to have a successful company, you're going to have to have women who like your brand. Uh, you know, yeah, if you have a women's company. But anyways, oh, so we're, you're talking, not about, marketing we're women. talking about big baller brand. Anyways, back to the more interesting stuff. We got the logos. First and foremost, you got the official Apollo Zo logo. Make what you want of that, but when you take a look at the other logos, we don't see no Mellow, MB1 logo, none of that. I'd assume that's because he's got enough stuff of his own going on already, with Puma and all. But what we do see is a Jello logo, as well as a Leangelo Ball logo, which confirms Apollo Zo will be selling Jello merch as well. Now I don't know if he'll have his own line of apparel within the brand, but what I do know is what's confirmed here, there's going to be Leangelo related merchandise released by Apollo Zo, and it pretty much confirms here that all the types of clothes and all I mentioned earlier is also going to be sold under the Jello free line. Now what does that mean for a big baller brand? The focal point of their whole new collection seems to be Leangelo. I'm not even going to lie, that G3 collection is some of the most heat BBB have ever dropped. If they ever released this varsity jacket in my size, I'd cop that in a heartbeat. But this move right here suggests to me that Jello is probably done with Big Baller Brand too, because the official Jello 3 logo that was used on his BBB merchandise has now been trademarked by Born to Ball Inclusive, Lonzo Ball's company. Now it costs top dollars to register trademarks. I can't think of any other reason why he would register that trademark if he wasn't planning on exclusively working with Apollo Zo. It's a damn near carbon copy of the same logo. What, are they going to share the same logo among two brands, owned by the same company? Or are they going to put all their focus in this new brand and see how far they can take that? Don't get mistaken by me sounding enthusiastic in my videos, I have no pleasure saying this. I just can't see where Big Baller Brand goes from here. The whole point in having athletes exclusively endorse your brand is so they're only ever seen wearing your brand, therefore promoting your brand everywhere they go. Well how's that going to work if you've got Lonzo wearing his clothing line, Jello wearing Zoe's stuff, and Melo when he's not wearing Puma is wearing stuff from his own new designer line. Even Lavar in the latest episode of Ball and the Family says he's bored of wearing the gear and is open to switching it up and trying something new. I'm, I'm, I'm charged up on that. <laughs> I'm charged yeah, up I'll get you some stuff when we start, yeah, yeah, start yeah. making it. Definitely, man. I've been rocking triple B's for three years, man. <laughs> yeah. You got to change my style up a little bit. I got mad to ask me, what's that? Before I got on something else? I was feeling, yes. It's not on this one, man. So if Lavar, the big baller himself, who's only ever been seen in BBB merch, isn't repping the Triple Bs, then who else will? 
Forget the ball boys, what is BBB without Lavar? Man, I know you guys really don't like hearing this, and I've caught a lot of flack for saying this over the past few months, but I wouldn't be saying this for no reason, you know what I'm saying? And for the record, this is my opinion, not coming from any sources, none of that. But I think this has something to do with that lawsuit. Because no matter what you want to say about Alan Foster, he was a shareholder in the company, owning 33% of the brand. Legally, he owns as much as Big Baller brand as LeVar Ball does. 33% ownership is more than Lonzo, Lamelo, or Jello ever had. I think Alan might have won the lawsuit and is refusing to give up his shares in the brand. And because of that, LeVar, Lonzo, and Leangelo are making this transition towards a new brand fully owned by the family. Because all of this is uncharacteristic from LeVar. During their argument when Lonzo ran the idea by him of restarting the brand under a new name, he was completely wholeheartedly against it. Would you change the name? Hell no, I wouldn't change the name. I'm just saying from a marketing standpoint. From a marketing standpoint, regardless of what it is. I'm just saying, that's yeah. my opinion. I'm no, just I'm, asking a question. I'm just saying. Triple B is always going to be the name. On the fact that it also stands for the three ball brothers. I'm not changing that at all. What is your opinion on that, Joe? I don't give a about his opinion. I just want to hear But no, 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 listen to me, son. When I come up with a name and then somebody tell me to change it, that's like me telling me to change your name. Well, maybe now he doesn't have a choice. Because the way the court system's working all with lawsuits, the man with the paperwork is the guy that wins every time. And the reason I thought Alan would never go down for the allegations is because between Alan and LaVar, who do you think was most likely to have all the paperwork? The basketball guy or the business guy? From an objective standpoint to me, this just seems to be the reality of the situation. Why would you start a whole new company with the same people if you already had a company endorsing the same people? Probably because they aren't fully in control of their previous company and for that reason are starting again from scratch making sure this go around they are fully in control of it. Anyway, shout out LA Sports Radio for the plug, and by the way, that last part was just my opinion on a video otherwise filled with facts. Jello clearly is going to be rocking Apollo Zoe, he's going to have some merch dropping soon, be on the lookout for that, DKM told you first. You're not going to find a video on this story nowhere, whether that be YouTube, Instagram, mainstream media, none of that, before you saw this one right here. I got the inside scoop when it comes to this BBB, or now Apollo Zoe stuff. So if you haven't, hit that big red button, subscribe to the channel, turn on notifications, check out social media links down below in the description, follow my Instagram for the drip, follow my Twitter for the news, and join my Discord server to be a part of the community. Lastly, football fans, go subscribe to my second channel. I'm going to be uploading consistently over there going forward. And on that note, it's DKM signing out. And Puma. Listen, we 10 seconds shy of 8 minutes. I need that bag, I need them mid rolls. Comment Easter egg if you got the Easter egg. I'm gone. Peace.